Hey yo, what's up you guys? So, uh, of course you know that the next review is Mach 1. Um, I'm gonna actually say this because I think, I mean you guys won't know, but I will say this. If I do seem like less enthusiastic in this, it's because I technically did review this already. Um, it's just a review I didn't upload because there was like a joke that I said that I felt like YouTube might get on. So that's why I'm not uploading it. Plus, even then, I feel like other people are going to... I'm not going to explain it too much because I'm just going to get right into the review so we can enjoy it. So first of all, there is Lay Box. So Marvel, Marvel's Mach 1, got nice artwork on both sides. Got Marvel on the top and the back, a bigger picture of that. All the figures in the wave, including the Build-A figure and a bio that says Marvel's Mach 1. Abner Jenkin, Jen, 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 Jenkins suits up in his mobile armored cyber harness as Mach 1. So here is the boy Mach 1, and I did do some research. Uh, and so he was formerly Beetle, uh, and this is why it makes sense why they kind of use reuse some parts from a Beetle figure. Um, and what actually, uh, ended up happening is that he did rebel against Zemo and became a hero alongside Songbird and the rest. Uh, Songbird was actually a romantic, that's interesting. I'm not going to test that, you know, I'm not going to test that. Uh, and he also had a relationship with Songbird and he became a good guy. And when Hawkeye took over the team... He said, you know, hey, you should go into, you know, jail for your crime, so you serve. And so he did that, and then I think he was, I, I have a theory that he was probably pressured to escape, because there was a bunch of villain, other villains that escaped, and he was like, you know, I'm just going to escape. And then he went back to being a villain, but technically, he was still Mach 1 when he became a true hero and rebelled against Zemo. Now, you may say this, well, Daniel, don't you have Citizen V who is the tech technically the person that he rebelled against and be and it was before Zemo became a hero you are right but however on the con on the contrary i find that citizen v is more hero looking that is why i have him as my hero zemo when i get the regular suited zemo whether they re-release it remake it or i get the older version that is going to be my villain zemo just like the loki there is a like classic comics Loki that is was definitely a villain, but the movie Loki turned out to be a hero. So thus is why I'm going to have the comic Loki be my villain Loki. You see what I mean here? So that's the thing. That is definitely the thing. So that that's that's how it's gonna work. So he is a villain, not a villain. I'm, he's gonna be a hero. So the other beetle, there's like a there, there's a modern beetle look that I'm probably gonna get, and he will be a villain. Uh, but this one is going to be a hero because he was still Mach 1 when he rebelled against Zemo and became a hero. So, now how long he actually served as a real hero is beyond me. But, his only accessory, it's not even really his accessory. As with a lot of this wave, I've noticed they don't come with a lot of accessories. Like, Iron Man obviously comes with like some repulse blasters. And I know Miss Marvel comes with her, her uh, original uh, accessories that she came with as her comic form. But he comes with the uh, Abomination head. And one of the horns is bent. But honestly, I could almost say that just kind of makes him look more rugged. So, would that be the right term? I guess that would be the right term. Anyways, here is Mach 1. I really have an admir admir uh, um, admiration for the suit. It looks really really cool and it does make sense to me why they would reuse some parts especially these legs these are definitely from an older beetle figure that they used it's nice and blue you know so that's enough of a, it's good enough of a difference you know then up here it comes with a white belt i don't know if this part's reuse it probably is i know that these arms are reused because it has these blasters uh, but he also has this on this suit because literally this suit is just uh, a reworking of the beetle suit when he became mach 1 and so there's that and then it's got this really nice white armor and i really like the thunderbolt symbol there 
and then there's the red visor and the mouthpiece and everything this armor on top and this uh, communicator I'm guessing is a communicator um, and then there's these wings nicely sculpted it's got the jetpack got nice blue throughout and yeah uh, so to give you some context uh, the person who told him to go serve his sentence and that he agreed to it was Hawkeye because uh, Hawkeye took over the team now there have been many different versions of the Thunderbolts but every version of the Thunderbolts I believe correct me if I'm wrong but every version of the Thunderbolts after Zemo was kicked out was heroes they were heroes I know Songbird carried on to be there I know Winter Soldier was a hero it was a, a leader of the Thunderbolts for a little bit um, and Zemo, I think, got back the Thunderbolts once he became a hero. So, like I said, that's the Citizen V is going to be my hero, Zemo. So, you could argue that maybe he looks more villainous that way. He looks more hero-like to me. And I guess that's actually technically the entire point. But yeah, like, I can't wait to actually finish this Abomination figure, though. Like... It's going to be aw it's going to be humongous, but it's going to be awesome. I hope it's the same size as like the comic Red Hulk. Even though the Hulk that I'm going to be finishing is going to be probably smaller than that. Uh, oh yeah, I forgot. You'll see this in the review, but like this is a loose piece. Like I mean, if you line it up, actually no, it doesn't even move. It's because it's a single joint elbow and it swivels down there. Oh, that I don't. I forgot about that. But yeah, so that's that. Um, so articulation moves down, moves up, side to side, got a little tilt. His arms move all the way up because these get out of the way. Got a biceps full, double jointed elbows. He's got an ab crunch, it goes forward that much, back that much, waist full. His legs kick out that much, and back that much. He's got an upper thigh swivel. Doubly jointed knees. His ankle moves down just that much, goes up that much, and his ankle pivots. So I shall get one to compare on for this. And that is Citizen V. It's technically his boss that he rebelled against. I need to move you down. Bit so you can see the comparison, even though this isn't flat ground. So yeah, there's that comparison. Look, they look cool together though. I don't exactly know how I'm gonna put Mach One up here. So yeah. Uh, in. I guess you guys would know the reason why if I said this. Uh, I will say this though, because I do know there have been a, there's been a couple videos um, when I went to the city of Fargo, which is the biggest city in North Dakota, um, where I re I review over there, and it's really fun. Um, Sometimes I I will try to do a hunt or a vlog this time. There was an attempt at a vlog, but I just felt really awkward around doing it. And I think it's just something I need to get used to, so I'll try to make a vlog the next time I go there. Uh, I'll at least try to make a hunt vlog, and I will review stuff over there. Uh, I will probably have my friend again. Maybe by that time I'll actually be driving, so... Yeah. Do it. Uh, hopefully I'll have more friends, though. I really, really hope that I get I bring more friends with. But, that is Mach 1. Now, the original review of this was a lot longer. It was about 15, was it 15? Yeah, it was 15 minutes long. But, that was because I was talking a lot slower, and it was just, you know, more a little bit more enthusiastic. Oh, yeah. Uh, I don't know if you can see him, but yeah, Captain Marvel is there. I'm really happy because I have another person in the space display. I think that's the space heroes display, uh, or the, you know, the universe type. Thing. I don't know. I don't know where I'm gonna put this guy though. I know how I'm probably gonna pose him. That's gonna be him, like uh, aiming his blasters. 
you know. Like this. You know, if I had a fight stand, he might be doing something like this, you know, where he's, it's, they're pointed up. Or, you know, he's strafing or something, but still don't have a fight stand. And the first fight stand I'm getting is going to go for Starfire, my Titan display. So, yeah. Speaking of, I will mention this. Uh, the next DC figure you should see me get is actually Azriel. Because I really want him. Um, the other ones would be uh, the DC Essentials Catwoman, Sinestro, and Hal Jordan. Uh, I just say Hal Jordan because Green Lantern. If you just say Green Lantern, even though they've only made one, you could really go off of which Green Lantern is it? Is it. I really can't remember the name of the African American one. That's really disappointing. What is, what is his name? Oh, I can't remember his name, but that guy. He's like the, I think he's like the second most well-known Green Lantern. Uh, other than Hal Jordan. Um, Kyle Rainier. Or you know, the other person. So it's Hal Jordan that I'm going to get. There is an action figure of the African American one though. And I just decided, kind of like how I did with this show, for the Avengers are kind of also just any hero that it really isn't in the team or isn't a big team. So, or if it's a small team, you know. So, uh, I'll do that with the Justice League one. Like, I'll have the basic Justice Leaguers, but other characters that I don't really want the entire team or small team or whatever will also go on that shelf. Now, hopefully, I actually remove all those books, though. That way, I can have a huge thing. Uh, but the Justice League will definitely be facing towards the front. So, yeah. I did see Wonder Woman and Superman at Target today. But I was like, you know what? I want these figures more. I was tempted to go to GameStop today. And I do realize that if I went there, I could have possibly gotten some, maybe really something really cool. But, honestly, I'm really happy because I got Marvel, And he's one of, like, the, he's my most anticipated figure of this wave. He actually might become my second. Might become my second. Uh, depending on... Probably my second. Uh, and, you know, I got Bucky. And that's really an amazing thing. So... Uh, in case you're wondering for the Black Widow wave, I do plan to get Red Guardian and Yelena Belova next. And then I'll get... Uh, Spy Master. And then the other two figures. I actually do plan to probably finish Crimson Dynamo we'll probably stay at my mom's and we'll just chill there so yeah but anyways hope you guys enjoyed this review and I will see you in the next one peace